Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to set up a shared printer on your Macintosh computer. Now, for the shared printer, you're, you have a server and a client install. The, the server is going to be where you physically connect your printer. The client will be every computer that you are printing through that server. So every computer you're going to print to using that printer. Uh, you're going to need the driver file downloaded onto each computer that's going to be printing as well as the server computer. Um, we want to start with a server computer. So you want to download the driver. Now we will have it on our website, but it's not there at this point. Uh, you're going to need to log in to PartnerNet to download the driver. You go under Printer Support. You'll see Sawgrass Printers. You'll come down to there, pick the SG400, and come to Printer Drivers Mac. And once you get there, you'll actually see your driver file. You just click on the appropriate driver and download. Once you have the driver file, you want to run this on the server first. Run the package file. I'm going to hit continue. Install it. It's going to ask for my password. And then I'm going to hit close. Now that has the driver installed on my Mac. From there I can physically connect the printer and it will show up in my in my list of printers. So I'll go to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, and I will find the printer. We've got the Sawgrass SG400. Now from here you can check this box that says Share this printer on the network. Now I've already had this installed which is why it's already checked. But just check this box and you'll have it shared out on your network. Now, if you're going to print from the Mac that you physically have it connected to, at this point you're going to want to configure the drivers, in which case you'll need the ICC profile. Uh, we'll get into that when we look, get into actually installing it onto the client computer. Now, on the client computer, you're going to download the driver as well. You want to run the driver file just as we ran through. And then we're going to go to System Preferences. We're going to go into Printers and Scanners. Um, on the driver, on the client computer, we have to hit the add function. You'll either see the printer listed here in the list of printers on the network, or you can actually come over to Windows if you have this installed onto a Windows computer. Now, I'm going to connect to the share on my Windows workstation because I can't really connect the share onto the same computer as the server. So, from here, I'm going to go to cut to your domain and I'm going to select the computer that it's physically connected to and from here you will see the printer listed. It's asking me for network privileges. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to remember this in the keychain and now we'll see the SG400. I'm going to select this I want to make sure it's using the right driver, so I'm going to click on the Use pull down and select Select Software. From here, I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick the Sawgrass SG400 and hit OK. Once I see that show up on this list, I'm going to hit Add. Now this has added the printer onto my computer. Alright, once we have the share connected, we need to make sure that we have the ICC profile in place. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to download the ICC profile from my email. Um, our tech support department will email you this ICC profile. So if you do not have it, just send us an email to support at condi.com requesting the profile for the SG400. Once we have it on the desktop, we want to copy it. And then I'm going to click once on the desktop, and then click on Go, and Go to Folder, and type in a single forward slash, which is the same key as the question mark. Once you do that, hit Go, and then we're going to go into Library, Color Sync, and Profiles. And I want to paste that file into this folder. Just simply click on Edit and Paste. Uh, now I already have these profiles installed on this Mac. So you want to make sure you see the profile in the folder. Sometimes inside the profiles folder, you'll see a shortcut to profiles. If you see this, you want to go into there and paste that file in here as well. 
once you have the profiles in place, we're ready to configure the software. You want to open your graphics software, and we're going to go straight to the print dialog, file and print. Now this is Adobe Elements, so I'm going to have to go to more options, color management, and I'm going to make sure printer profile says let Adobe Elements manage colors. Printer profile we're going to set to the SG800 die trans high quality, and then rendering intent will be perceptual. Excuse me, we're working with the SG400, so we want to make sure this is on the SG400 die trans high quality. Hit OK here, and then we're ready to configure the driver. Uh, now in Photoshop, those color management settings are going to be on the right hand side. In Illustrator, you're going to see an option on the left for color management. Just click on that and you'll get to the same pull downs. To get to the driver in Photoshop, you'll see a pull down a button on the right hand side that says print settings. In Illustrator, in the bottom, you'll see a button that says either printer or setup. Uh, in Adobe Photoshop Elements, we're going to hit print and it's going to take us to a second print dialog screen. Once we're on this window, we want to verify that at the top we are set to the right printer. And then in the bottom right, we're going to go ahead and check flip horizontal. That's going to make sure everything that this printer prints is mirrored. From here, I'm going to click on layout and go to setup. I'm going to change the paper type to inkjet plain paper high quality. Then I'm going to click on the arrow next to image adjustments and set dithering to use error diffusion. Once we've got that, we want to save a preset. So I'm going to click on the presets pull down, save current settings as preset, and I'm going to name this Condi ICC. And hit OK. Now you'll see that Condi ICC in the pull down here. Once you have that set, you're ready to print. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi, please give us a call to 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for technical support, or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.